Hi class, how are you? I hope you're well. Today we're going to learn how to buy things. Como comprar coisas. Um, so go to page 20 in your books. Page 20. And as you can see here, it says, can I have an orange juice? Can I have an orange juice? The title of the lesson, can I have an orange juice, please? Repeat, can I have an orange juice, please? This means literally, uh, posso ter um suco de laranja? Por favor. Obviously, in Portuguese, you would say it differently. Um, Quero um suco de laranja, por favor. Or, me dê um suco de laranja. Um, so, in English, we say, can I have an orange juice, please? And so, on page 20, on page 20, uh, we are going to learn about... Um, how to buy things so up here number one is about money repeat money or understanding prices uh, entendendo compreendendo os preços prices and we have um, different types of money i have some english money here so this let me stop sharing this is 1p. Can you see? Can you see the queen? The queen, a rainha. This is 1p. It's like one centavo. It's like that. 1p. Now I have another coin here. This is, let me move over here, one pound. You can see the queen again, the queen's head again. Repeat, one pound. One pound means uma libra, uma libra esterlina, one pound. This is worth about uh, seven reais. Isso hoje, pela taxa de câmbio de hoje, vale mais ou menos sete reais. One pound. And here I have five pounds, five pounds. Okay. So, um, we're going to listen and repeat. Okay. So, look at these here. Listen and repeat. 1.89 20 pounds 50 pence 20 euros 50 cents. 20 dollars. 25 cents. Okay. If you want to listen and repeat again, press pause, go back and listen and repeat again. Se você quiser escutar e repetir de novo, é só voltar, é, dar pausa, voltar e escutar e repetir de novo. O que é uma, um exercício muito bom para você treinar uh, escutar e a pronúncia também. Okay, so these are different types of money. Pounds, libra esterlina, que usamos, uh, as pessoas usam na Inglaterra, no Reino Unido. Um, euros, repeat, euros. Euros. This is the money they use in other countries in, in Europe, que usam em outros países da, da Europa. França, Alemanha, France, Germany, um, Italy, Spain, other countries as well. And dollars, what they use in America, dollars. So now, match the prices and words. Number one, we have 12 pounds, esse sinalzinho aqui significa é, é, os, é da libra, ok? So this, this is for pounds. This one is for euros. Isso aqui é do, do euro. 
parece com uma letra E ao contrário. Um, and this one is dollar, okay? Pounds, euro, dollar. So we have 12 pounds, 75, letter H. Da, 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 da. Here it is, 12 pounds, 75. Number two, 15 euros. Tem que é, ficar de olho em qual é, se é libra, euro ou dólar. Nesse caso, como tem esse, esse negócio aqui, é do euro. Uh, so, 15 euros, 99. Where's that? 15, 15. Ah, 15 euros, 99. So, it's letter D. Yeah, number two is D. Okay, take two minutes, however long you need, to complete this exercise. And then we're going to check. Okay, so I'll do a countdown. Five, four, three, two. One. Okay, let's check. Number three, fifty dollars nineteen. That is F. F. Number four, five pounds thirty five. Letter C. Number five, thirteen dollars. 25. That is letter A. And, th and they've said $13.25. So you can say $13.25 or $13.25. Both are fine. Six. Three euros 20 is G, three euros 20. Number seven is zero. So it's just going to be 25 cents. Here it is, J, 25 cents. Ou seja, 25 centavos de um, de um euro. Yeah, 25 cents. Number eight, <coughs> one pound, one pound, 50. Here it is, letter I, one pound 50. And number nine, 60p. So do you remember this? I called this 1p, 1p. É tipo um centavo, okay? So one p, one pound. You need a hundred of these. Você precisa de 100 moedas dessa to make a pound para completar uma libra. So, that's, that was 1p. In number 9, we have 60p. 60 centavos de uma libra. Se for dólar ou euro, vai ser cents. So, 25 cents. Um, so, 60p... Here it is, letter E, 60p. And number 10, dollars, so it's going to be cents, not P, 80 cents, B, 80 cents. Okay, so now listen and repeat. One point ninety. One. H. Twelve pounds seventy five. Two. D. Fifteen euros ninety nine. Three. F. Fifty dollars and nineteen cents. Four. C. Five pounds thirty five. Five A. Thirteen dollars and twenty five cents. Six G. 
Three euros twenty. Seven. J. Twenty five cents. Eight. I. One pound fifty. Nine. E. Sixty p. Ten. B. Eighty cents. Okay. Right. Let's move on. So this says cover the words and look at the prices. Cubrir as palavras e olhar os preços. Uh, practice saying them. Praticar a dizer, a falar essa, esses preços. That's a good way of practicing. É uma boa maneira de treinar. Então, você cobre é, com, se você tiver um material impresso, ou talvez é, você possa é, mexer, mexer assim é, e tentar esconder um lado. Uh, ah, como number two, ok, fifteen ninety nine, so fifteen euros ninety nine. Aí você vai lá conferir fifteen euros ninety nine. That's it, ok. It's a good way of practicing. Uh, uma boa maneira de praticar. Now let's move on to E. Listen to four dialogues, ok. Listen, listen. To four dialogues. One, two, three, four. The question for each dialogue is how much is it? How much is it? Quanto é? Repeat. How much is it? So for each dialogue, para cada diálogo, você vai circular o preço correto. É 1,25 ou 1,35? Ok? So the, the first dialogue is about a newspaper. What's a newspaper? Newspaper, a newspaper is a journal. So how much is the newspaper? Is it one twenty-five, dollar twenty-five, or one dollar thirty-five? Listen and circle the correct answer. Then number two, the phone card, um cartão para telefone, para recarregar um telefone. Uh, is it going to be 15 euros? A notice, 15 euros. Or 50 euros. 15 or 50. Number three, a memory card. Um cartão de memória. Is it going to be 4.99 or 9.49? And the train ticket um, for o bilhete, né? Um, Para pegar um trem. Is it going to be 13 pounds 20 or 30 pounds 20? Notice the difference. 13 and 30. Ok. Uh, right. Listen to the four dialogues and circle the answers. Here we go. One point ninety one. One. The New York Times, please. Here you are. How much is it? It's one dollar twenty five. Two. A phone card, please. For how much? Fifteen euros, please. Here you are. Thanks. Three. A memory card, please. Two gigs or four? Two, please. How much is it? Nine dollars forty-nine. Is a credit card okay? Sure. Four. A one-way ticket to Oxford, please. Thirty pounds twenty p, please. Here you are. Thank you. Okay. Listen. Again now, and we'll correct um, the answers. One point ninety one. One. 
The New York Times, please. Here you are. How much is it? It's one dollar twenty-five. So, one dollar twenty-five. This one, one dollar twenty-five. Two. A phone card, please. For how much? Fifteen euros, please. Here you are. Thanks. Fifteen euros. Fifteen. Three. A memory card, please. Two gigs or four? Two, please. How much is it? Nine dollars forty-nine. Is a credit card okay? Sure. Nine dollars forty-nine. Four. A one-way ticket to Oxford, please. Thirty pounds twenty p, please. Here you are. Thank you. Thirty pounds twenty p. Okay. Thirty pounds twenty p. This one. Okay. Let's move on to the next exercise. And it's pronunciation. Pronunciation. Listen and repeat the words and sounds. Okay, starting with this one here. One point ninety two. Tourist. Tourist. Or. Or. Euro. Europe. European. Snake. S. Cent. Pence. City. Price. Key. K. Coffee. Camera. Credit card. So, sometimes the letter C is pronounced k. Sometimes it's pronounced s. Às vezes pronunciamos a letra C com k. Uh, e ele está explicando o livro explica que antes de outras letras, né, sem ser e i a gente pronuncia, pronuncia k. So, coffee, camera, card. Uh, a letra C antes de E ou antes de I, por exemplo, cent, city, a gente pronuncia s. Por isso a gente tem esses, esses exemplos. Price, city, cent. Ok? Um, right. Let's continue. And again, if you want, go back, listen and repeat again. I recommend that. Se você quiser, volta e, e escuta e repete de novo. Right, buying lunch. Buying lunch. Buying. Comprando. Lunch. Now, lunch in England is almost. Almost. Um, so, we're talking about the meal you have. Uh, at around midday, or a refeição que você come meio dia, mais ou menos. So, what we have to do first is read the menu, ler o cardápio, here it is, the menu, and then listen, listen and repeat the food, drinks and prices, yeah? We have food, drinks and prices in this menu. Food, drinks, and the prices are here. Um, so, food, what does food mean? Food means comida. So this menu, menu, has on it food, drinks, drinks and 
at next to each item, there's a price, one pound, 10 pounds, etc. cetera. Prices, preços, okay. Repeat, menu, food, drinks, prices, good. Right, so listen and repeat the food, drinks and prices that we hear we have on this menu. It's called the Three Kings, os Três Reis. And we're going to listen and repeat, 1.93. One point ninety three. The Three Kings. Menu. Food. Three Kings burgers. Seven pounds ninety nine. Seven pounds ninety. Pies, steak or chicken. Nine pounds twenty. Cheese or tuna. Four pounds fifteen. Four pounds fifteen. Salads, chicken or egg. Five pounds ninety nine. Five pounds ninety nine. Drink. Mineral water. One pound ninety. One pound ninety. Orange juice. Two pounds eighty. Two pounds eighty. Vai praticando, repetindo todos os preços. Coke. Diet Coke. Two pounds sixty. Two pounds sixty. Beer, three pounds twenty five. Three pounds twenty five. Coffee, tea, one pound ninety five. One pound ninety five. Um, and if you want, you can listen again and stop and practice saying the, the, the food and the drinks. Se você quiser, volta e vai dando pausa e repetindo as, os itens de comida e de bebida. So let's just go through and check some of the items. Um, Three Kings Burger, o hambúrguer da casa, né? Da, dos Três Reis, 7.99. This is all pounds, okay? É tudo libra, que tem esse negócio aqui. Tudo libra. Pies, é tipo empada, empadão, empada, é um tipo de pastel, empada, pie. Steak, steak é... É carne, né? É, filé, é, filé. Ou chicken. Chicken is frango. Sandwiches, cheese, queijo, or tuna. Do you know what tuna is? Tuna is a type of fish. É um tipo de peixe. A type of fish. Let's write this one up. Atum. Okay. Type of fish, um tipo de peixe. Then we have salad, chicken again, que é frango, né? Or egg, egg, what's egg? Just let's write some of these up, chicken, egg, ovo. Drinks. Bebidas, mineral water, água mineral. If you don't know this word, memorize it. Water. Remember, Americans say water, water. British people like me say water, water. It's the same thing, but it's it's a little bit different the pronunciation. Uh, orange juice. What's orange juice? Suco de laranja. Coke or diet coke. Coca-Cola or coca Light. Beer. Beer is cerveja. And coffee and tea. Coffee, tea. Cafecha. So here we've got the drinks. Okay. What's your favorite drink? 
Is it juice? Juice? Or maybe it's coffee? Or tea? Um, I like juice. That's probably my favorite. Uh, orange juice, um, graviola juice. We don't have graviola in England, but I love I love it. I love the juices you can get here that you can't get in England. Okay. Um, right. Acerola and orange. That's really good. Really good. Right. Um, so now it says practice with a partner. Treina con un cuatro peso. Um, ask the prices on the menu. So you need to use this this question use this question here how much is a tuna sandwich quanto é um sanduíche de atum de atum repeat how much is a tuna sandwich how much is a tuna sandwich the answer is a resposta 4 pounds 15 here we go 4 pounds 15 or 4.15. Now you can uh, ask your partner. Você pode perguntar para outra pessoa se você tiver alguém para treinar. Ou se não, você pode uh, treinar sozinho. How much, is, uh, how much is a chicken salad? 5.99. Okay, chicken salad. How much is a coffee? One pound ninety-five. Practice. Keep practicing. If you need, go back and listen and repeat. Vai treinando. Se precisar, volta para escutar como é que se pronuncia cada coisa, cada preço. E escute, escute e repete. Escute e repete. Right. So practice that. I'll do my countdown. Five, four, three, two. One, let's move on. Next page, our próxima página, page 21. <clears throat> right, so now let us see, watch or listen to Rob in a London pub. Okay, watch or listen to Rob in a London pub. Okay, here we go. And so, escutar o Rob num pub, um tipo de barra, né? Um pub. Um, and then tick the things he orders on the menu. Então, você precisa escutar o Rob, esse aqui o Rob, é, fazendo um pedido nesse lugar aqui, nesse pub. Os três reis, tem o mesmo cardápio aqui. E marcar todas as coisas que ele vai pedir. So we can actually go back. Então a gente pode voltar para outra página. Só escutar ele e marcar, e marcando as coisas que ele vai pedir no cardápio. Ok? It's all going to be here. Right. 1.94. Here we go. 1.94 Who's next? Can I have a cheese sandwich, please? Anything else? And a Coke, please. Ice and lemon? No, thanks. There you go. Thanks. How much is it? £6.75. Here you are. Thanks. Here's your change. So what did Rob order? Que foi que o Rob pediu? Did you hear? Did you understand? Okay. He, uh, if you didn't understand, go back and listen again. Se você não entendeu, volta e é, escuta de novo. Ready? Okay. He ordered a cheese sandwich and a Coke. A cheese sandwich and a Coke. Okay. 
So now we'll go down to this part. Listen again. Escute de novo and complete the dialogue. Complete o diálogo. Okay, so you need to fill in these spaces. Você precisa preencher esses espaços. Um, dois, três. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, listen and complete. One point ninety four. Who's next? Can I have a cheese sandwich, please? Anything else? And a Coke, please. Ice and lemon? No, thanks. There you go. Thanks. How much is it? Six pounds seventy-five. Here you are. Thanks. Here's your change. Okay. If you need to, listen again. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Right, let's check the answers now. Who's next? Can I have a cheese sandwich? Anything else? And a Coke, please. Okay, let's just write these down. So, can I have a cheese? Now we'll just write the answers. Number one, cheese. Number two, Coke. Can I have a cheese sandwich? Number two, and a Coke, please. Ice and lemon? No, thanks. No, thanks. What's ice? Repeat, ice. Ice is gel, gel. Lemon, limon. So ice and lemon, do you want ice and lemon in your Coca-Cola? No, thanks. No, obrigado. There you go. Toma, toma, aqui, aqui está. Thanks. Valeu, thanks. How much is it? Quanto é? Um, I think the answer was six pounds seventy-five. Let's just go back and check. Six pounds seventy-five. I can't remember. Okay, let's just check that. One point nine. There you go. Thanks. How much is it? Six pounds seventy-five. Okay. Six pounds seventy-five. Yeah. So that'll be pounds. Remember libra. And. The one, the last one here. Here you are. Here you are. Here you are. So we've got two expressions here that are similar. There you go, and here you are. They mean the same thing, really. There you go. Here you are. It just means akista. Akista. Here you are, there you go, right? Um, just another, just to check vocabulary. Who's next? Who's next? Quem? Who? Quem é o próximo? Next. Next. Próximo. Repeat, next. And here, anything else? Anything? Else, mais alguma coisa? Repeat. Anything else? Okay. And then we've got here. Here's your change. Aqui está o seu troco. Here's your change. <coughs> Right. So now that we've um, we've done that, 
completed the dialogue, listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. 1.95. Who's next? Can I have a cheese sandwich, please? Anything else? And a Coke, please. Ice and lemon? No, thanks. There you go. Thanks. How much is it? £6.75. Here you are. Thanks. Here's your change. OK, if you want, go back and repeat again. Now, practice the dialogue with a partner. So, I'm Benjamin, uh, sorry, I'm Barman, the Barman, and I'm Rob. OK, who's next? Um, can I have a cheese sandwich, please? Anything else? Uh, and a Coke, please. Ice and lemon? No, thanks. There you go. Thanks. How much is it? Uh, £6.75. Here you are. Here you are. Thanks. Here's your change. Here's your change. OK. You could do that. Você pode fazer isso. Treina, escuta e repete. Listen and repeat. If you have someone to practice with, then that's great. Se você tiver alguém para treinar, então isso é ótimo. Um, okay. Now, it's saying, again, another thing to do in pairs. Mais uma coisa para você fazer com outra pessoa. Role play the dialogue in pairs. Uh, usar o diálogo em dupla. Um, so, person A, pessoa A, é o bar, uh, barman, a pessoa, the barman, and person B is ordering food. Está pedindo comida um, and a drink, e uma bebida, okay? So, um, just let me just add this to our list. Order, to order, pedir, okay? Uh, in a restaurant, in a restaurant setting. Um, you say order. Se você estiver num restaurante pedindo comida em algum lugar, é pedir é to order. Pedir to order. Okay. So, for example, who's next? Um, can I have a chicken salad, please? Anything else? And uh, coffee. Sugar? Você pode ir inventando. Em vez de ice and lemon, um, sugar? Do you know what sugar is? Sugar? Açúcar. Um, we often have in coffee sugar and milk. Milk? Leite. Repeat. Sugar. Milk. Okay, and you can continue, and then you have to work out the price. We'll sit and calculate the price. That's it. Um, right. Practice, practice, practice. We have an expression in English which goes like this: "Practice makes perfect." Practice makes perfect. which means if you practice and keep practicing, and practice some more, you will eventually be perfect. Well, or nearly perfect, at least. Uh, quanto mais você praticar, mais perto a perfeição você vai chegar. Okay, last couple of things. This is Jenny. This is Jenny. Listen. To Jenny and her friend. I think, uh, yeah, we're going to see her friend. We're going to hear her friend, Amy. 
o nome da amiga dela é Amy, uh, and they're in a New York deli, estão em um, uma, um tipo um lanchonete, um, um café um, de Nova York, em New York. How much is Jenny's lunch? Ok? That's the only thing you need to answer. A primeira vez que, a gente, que você for escutar é só responder essa pergunta. Quanto é o almoço da Jenny? Quanto ficou o almoço da Jenny? How much is Jenny's lunch? Ok? Listen and answer that question. How much is Jenny's lunch? 1.96 Hi! How can I help you? Hi. How much is this tuna salad? It's 720. Okay, fine. And this mineral water, please. That's $9.70. Here you are. Thank you. Have a nice day. Jenny! Amy, hi. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine too. What's that? Oh, just a salad and some water. You are good. Look, wait for me. We can have lunch together in the park. Sure. Great idea. Can I have a cheese sandwich, a cappuccino, and a brownie, please? Okay. Right. So how much is Jenny's lunch? Did you hear it? If you didn't get that, we're going to listen again and you can try and work it out. Now, the second time, listen again, escuta de novo. If you didn't get the, 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 the total price, try and understand that. Se você não entender o preço total do almoço da Jenny, tenta entender. And also, complete the chart, completa o, esse espaço, esses espaços aqui. Uh, what do they have? O que elas comem? Um, que elas pedem? What do they have? Uh, Jenny and Amy. Okay, so let's listen again. 1.96 Hi, how can I help you? Hi, how much is this tuna salad? It's 7.20. Okay, fine. And this mineral water, please. That's $9.70. Here you are. Thank you. Have a nice day. Jenny! Amy, hi. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine, too. What's that? Oh, just a salad and some water. You are good. Look, wait for me. We can have lunch together in the park. Sure. Great idea. Can I have a cheese sandwich, a cappuccino, and a brownie, please? Okay. How much is Jenny's lunch? $9.70. So, Jenny's lunch costs $9.70. And what did she have? What did Jenny have? She had a salad and mineral water. What did Amy have? If you didn't get it, go back and listen again. Se você não pegou, volta e escuta de novo. Amy had a cheese sandwich. Um, a cappuccino. How do you spell cappuccino? Got to check that. And a brownie. Brownie. Okay. So. Here we go. This is Amy, this is Jenny. Um, and that's it. That's it for that activity. Remember, 
go back, listen and repeat. Practice saying all of these words. Volta, escuta e repete. Treina essas palavras. Pronuncia dessas palavras. Menu, food, drinks, prices, tuna, fish, chicken, egg. Practice all of them. And memorize them. E decora. Uma das melhores coisas que você pode fazer nesse nível de iniciante é decorar novas palavras para expandir o seu vocabulário. Isso vai te é, deixar ainda mais motivado é, e, e animado, porque você vai ver que está conseguindo, é, na hora de, de um diálogo, de treinar, de conversar, você vai lembrar de mais, de mais palavras. Ok. E vai entender, na hora de ler um texto, de ouvir um diálogo, você vai perceber aos poucos que está que entendendo mais palavras. Last thing, listen and repeat these useful phrases, esses, essas frases úteis. Listen and repeat, 1.97. One point ninety seven. Can I have a cheese sandwich, please? Anything else? And a Coke, please. Ice and lemon? No, thanks. How much is it? Here you are. Here's your change. I'm fine too. Wait for me. Sure. Great idea. So, uh, remember anything else? Mais alguma coisa? Um, no thanks, no obrigado. How much is it? Quanto é? Here you are. Here's your change. We looked at these before. I'm fine. Eu estou bem. I'm fine. Estou bem. Tu. Também. Estou bem também. Wait for me. What does that mean? Wait. Espera. Wait for me. Me espera. Sure. Claro. And great idea. Ótima ideia. So, great. Ótima. Repeat. Great. Okay. I just checked. Um, let me see. I just checked in my dictionary and I spelt this wrong. So correction, cappuccino, cappuccino with two C's. There we go, it's correct now. Okay, so that's it for today. Um, thank you for watching this video and doing the class. Keep studying, keep practicing, keep listening and repeating and I'll see you uh, for the next class. Take care. Bye-bye.